I'm uh, Stephen Abrams from the University of California Curation Center, where we have operated a preservation and access repository since 2006. Uh, most of the earliest use of that repository came from the 10 campus library systems, uh, and the content was primar primarily uh, cultural heritage material. Uh, but over the last uh, year or two, we found that we've been seeing increasing demand from new, for curation services from uh, new constituencies, particularly those in the social and physical science communities. Uh, although the merit repository was designed to be genre agnostic, uh, in order to better meet the needs of those uh, UC research communities, we've been engaged in a number of initiatives to enhance merit's capabilities to provide appropriate curation services for scientific data sets. Uh, these initiatives are designed to enhance function uh, throughout the entire research life cycle. Um, we're using this particular life cycle, which is uh, somewhat of a synthetic construction uh, drawn from these well-known models, since none of them um, seem to be completely appropriate for our own purposes. Uh, the Merit Repository uses a uh, microservices architecture uh, being composed from a granular set of independent but uh, highly interoperable uh, uh, services that cooperate via uh, RESTful message passing. In. Yeah. Is it good? I think it's not transitioning. So here's um, a high-level schematic uh, showing the um, uh, external storage replication and integration with the external uh, EasyID service for persistent identifier management. Uh, in its baseline form, uh, Merit supports uh, functions for the following lifecycle phases of content collection, identification, description, preservation, storage, discovery, and access. Uh, consistent with the microservices principles, the newly augmented capabilities that we've implemented um, have been done not by modifying the core code, but instead by surrounding that core uh, with the constellation of new functions and services. Uh, much of the impetus for the new demands for curation services is coming from uh, recent requirements with regard to data management planning from funding agencies and journal publishers. Uh, therefore, we've worked with a number of partners, including the DCC here in the UK, uh, to develop an online DMP tool that helps uh, US-based researchers to create appropriate data management plans um, and provides links and guidance to relevant curation services such as Merit. <coughs> While um, big science and big data gets a lot of public visibility, um, think recently of a Large Hadron Collider, uh, the needs of small science and small data are often overlooked. Um, and for much of that activity, Excel uh, turns out to be the database of choice. Um, therefore, we've been working with uh, Microsoft Research and the Moore Foundation to, on the Data Up project. Do you slide that? I'm all, yeah, I'm all. Uh, I should be. Microphone? Um, it seems to stick itself somehow. Yeah. Um, the Data Up project is working to provide curation tools that are focusing on the use of uh, Excel spreadsheets. Um, as part of this project, we've developed uh, an open source Excel plugin as well as an Azure cloud based web client uh, that both provide um, facilitated object identification, metadata description, and submission to an appropriate repository such as Merit. Uh, UC3 is um, a founding member of the Data Site Consortium, which promotes the idea that data are legitimate contributions to the scholarly record. Uh, it is a DOI allocation uh, agency and provides a centralized metadata store uh, that soon will be exposed to um, a number of abstracting and indexing services for better high-level discovery, citation tracking, and impact metrics. Uh, Merit uh, interacts with data site through the, uh, through the EasyID service uh, where it, uh, identifiers are minted during ingest and metadata that is uh, supplied or created um, at the repository is automatically synchronized back to EasyID and through it to data site. 
um, on the data share project, not, not the Edinburgh data share project, uh, working with um, uh, the UC San Francisco Library and Medical School uh, to promote the sharing of neurophysiological <coughs> imaging data. Um, there were two important enhancements that we had to do uh, to support this activity. One was um, support for click-through data use agreements to allow researchers to control the specific terms of use uh, under which they will publish their data, uh, as well as um, uh, high-level discovery through a, um, an XTF-based faceted uh, search and browse environment. UC3 is also um, a partner in uh, Data One, which is a, a five-year multi-institutional project funded primarily by the National Science Foundation to enable new science to <coughs> universal access to data about life on Earth. Uh, Merit functions as a member node in the distributed Data One grid uh, with the primary responsibility for content acquisition and preservation. Uh, the descriptive metadata, the local descriptive metadata, is periodically harvested by external coordinating nodes for high-level federated discovery. Uh, the coordinating nodes also support an investigator's toolkit for um, analysis and manipulation of data. The OneShare project is a collaboration with Data One and the University of New Mexico um, in an experiment in trying to facilitate very low barrier sharing of scientific data. It defines a special purpose merit-based Data One member node to which content can be contributed without any prior uh, formal service relationship between a researcher and a repository. Um, think slide share for data. Uh, to enable this, we're initially requiring that all the data um, be submitted under terms of CC0 licensing. Uh, since the long-term success of uh, any repository is dependent on um, its ability to attract and keep customers, we've been working on um, some cost modeling analysis to ensure that our partial cost recovery operation remains attractive. Um, we will soon be offering two pricing models. Uh, one is an annual pay-as-you-go option, the other is a paid-up option. Um, the idea there being that the one-time price can be built into grant applications in order to avoid the orphan data problem that often occurs at the conclusion of funded research projects. Um, and uh, here's some next steps. I'm running out of time. Um, uh, in summary, uh, we believe uh, that these enhancements collectively have significantly uh, increased our capacity to offer uh, meaningful and effective curation services for research data. Um, there's a lot more information about these activities, as well as other UC3 initiatives, um, at these URLs, as well as those uh, that were scattered through some of the previous slides. Thank you. Yeah.